So here is the statement. We got the material streams right here. We got the energy streams right here and the unit operations, which we already stated. Okay. Now the input material, sorry, the input for the material is this one right here. Sorry, this one right here. We need a feed only given right here. We need to state the temperature and pressure for the warm feed. Uh, no need to state reactor's bottom. The temperature going out of the reactor must be stated. The flash feed must be stated as well. Okay. And finally, there is no requirement to add to any energy. Okay. Energy streams will be left alone. Unit operations, well, technically speaking, we just need to state the conversion basis right here and the coefficients in the reactor. Otherwise, we can just literally just click next and you will get the final results. So we run the simulation, you already saw, we got there mostly I think there was no errors. We didn't require any debugging, no warnings, no, no errors at all. So we got plenty of results. So you should get a table similar to this. This is the energy streams. Heater duty, this is of course inlet. This is heat. Cooler duty is pretty similar. Reactor duty is this one right here. In order to maintain the heat loss, remember this is endothermic. So it's losing heat because it requires heat. You need to add some heat there. So this heat is adding because it's an endothermic reaction. Now, let me show you about the, where is it? Mm, compositions, yeah. So initially we want to know the mole fraction of the loin. Initially it's zero, the warm fit is still zero. Then in the reactor product, it's 9%. So we, of course, want to increase that percentage. Now, when we leave it to the flash, we get this, a vapor reach in 15% toluene. So what does this implies is that this process is not good enough. We have plenty of n obtained and toluene. So they are not getting separated by the flash. We need to use something more efficient, maybe a distillation column or a set of flash units because only 15% well it's not that much actually it's literally like reacting the reactor feed remains on yeah 9% so you have 0% it converts to 9% remains in 9% after separation you get 15% in the liquid and about 0.5% in the vapor and as stated the heat reaction is right here you wanted to check out more details on the material stream, you can check them out right here. Temperature remains in Celsius. This is 65 Fahrenheit. This is 800 Fahrenheit. And it remains isothermal right here. And the after cooling remains once again into 65 Fahrenheit. Now there's not plenty to see because we do not have pressure drops pressure remains the same in the process and the mass flow well it is the same because it's going in and out so the interesting part right here was this previous analysis so final analysis and conclusion will be that maybe this process is not good enough the toluene product will not be able to sell itself if you sell a 15% toluene well you don't want that solvent, you want a 95 or even higher percentage of toluene. And heptane recovery, well, there's actually no recovery because it's getting lost. But the, the vapor phase right here is very pure on, on heptane. It has almost 99.5 percentage of N heptane. So that's okay that's cool we are recovering a relatively pure obtain right here to do the requirements we got them previously just the note that if this is positive this implies this is endothermic reaction why do we need the preheater in order to maybe favor the reaction imagine that the reaction only takes place at 500 fahrenheit or even higher so for instance 800 fahrenheit will have a high conversion maybe 15%. What if 
500 will only have 10 percentage so that's why we need high uh, temperature which is achieved with the prayer here why cooling or well, maybe because we get a better separation actually that will be a nice way to prove if maybe cooling even lower will separate better the liquid or maybe we can achieve something for instance 100 Fahrenheit and will provide a purer toluene flow anyways that's for another set of practice and finally but not least is the reaction extermic or endothermic as stated above it's endothermic because the heat of reaction is positive so the reactor will require heating 